morning everyone and guys here and welcome back to my channel in today's video I am gonna review the Nasa Mavericks products again so the last video that I did about the Nasa Mavericks makeup products it went really bad actually but today I hope to make this and I am gonna try the Vision Cream so the Vision Cream products is actually known as a product that you can apply as a foundation as concealer and as contour so I bought like 13 shades for $50 and I have to say that that is crazy especially as a makeup artist if you want to have a majority of shades that could be really nice but today I am gonna test out not just the price but I'm gonna test the quality of the product okay, guys just before we start make sure to thumbs up subscribe my channel and ring on the button so you make sure not to miss any of my content. So it's actually my first impression. I never tried this product before, so today is actually my first time. So I'm gonna apply a primer that is a medical primer because I feel like the Vision Queen it is more of a dewy foundation and I don't want it to look too wet, too dewy so I want to balance it a little bit so I'm gonna use the Labasco of Lancome this one is more of a mattifying primer so for my covers I'm actually gonna use the N04 okay, I actually have to say wow, that's a good, very nice flawless coverage right here alrighty so I just did my other side of the face and I have to say it's one of the best foundation I've ever tried I'm gonna use right here the NO2 it's actually for the foundation I didn't have to put too much drop I actually used only two drops for all my face so that's actually pretty good I'm gonna go with the KK Beauty um, brush concealer brush right here and I'm just gonna go with this side of the brush I'm going to take just the fluffy brush right here and bow for this side. I am doing just one side right now in purpose because I really want to see what it looks like before and after. Okay, so I have to say that as concealer is doing a really good job as well. It gives me the full coverage I like out of my eyes. So I use the concealer on my eyes as well because I'm going to use this as a primer for my eyeshadows. And right now it's time for a little bit contour. I'm going to use the Vision Queen Cowboy, the same product I'm going to use as a contour. I'm going to see how it blends on my skin. The shade here is N06. Go so with the MAC 164 is looked wash right here. I feel like the contour, it looks really well, it looks very very natural, it doesn't look harsh. I'm just gonna go with the same shades that I use for the rest of the contour on my face. I'm just gonna use it on the nose. I am really interested to know how this product is actually reacting to baking powder. It's that's the thing with not quality products. When they react to the baking powder, they actually became really really cakey. But I really hope that it's not gonna be the case right here. Set my whole makeup right here. I am gonna use the Bake and Set Translucent Powder of Morphe. And I'm just gonna go and just take a very little bit, take off all the axis, and put it under my eyes. In this video, I actually didn't like this part of right here. So this one is Vision Cream. It's actually the same formula as the foundation, but it's something that you're gonna use it on your lips, on your cheeks, and on the eyes. And I actually didn't like it as much as my lips. The texture didn't feel right on my lips, it felt oily, but I have to admit that on the cheeks, it looks fabulous. I really like the natural look that it gives to my skin. I have to say that cream blushes are the thing right now. So on my cheeks, I'm gonna use the Vision Cream Flash right here. This one is shade 2-2. put it on the nose and I tell you why because I feel like I haven't been in the beach for like so long and you know when you go to the beach and then you have like this little blushing on your cheeks and on the nose that is so nice and I really miss this I miss the beach so much right now I'm going to do my eyes off the camera and I will be right back so after I am 
done my eyes and my eyelashes off the camera. I'm gonna show you which one I use. So I use this Moon Free palette right here. This one is called the Outer Street palette. And I use three different shades. I mean, that's all, just three different shades. So I base my eyes with this shadow right here. It's more of a burgundy color. And then I use this one right here. And for my inner corner, I use this one to brighten up. For my eyelashes, I'm using only Lancome mascara. I don't use any fast lashes. I use this one right here. This one is the primer. I am actually using a primer for my eyelashes. People are taking it as an obvious object that you don't have to use it, but you actually have to use it. I feel like it's conditioning my eyelashes. It's even helped them grow a little bit faster, but it also, like you see, it's not flaking. I don't have any black under my eyes a few hours after, so I feel like it's totally worth it. I use the Lancome Definitions. I usually use the Monsieur Big, but today, I don't know, for like, classic mood. If you want your eyelashes to look really bald, I will definitely recommend Mr. Big of Lancome. It makes them 12 times bigger and that's crazy. Guys, don't be shocked that I know that. I'm actually used to working in Lancome so I know all this information because I've worked there for like about 5 months. You guys know what my favorite part in makeup is actually the highlighters. I'm gonna use the Denise Myrick Slide Walk Palette. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use this one, the piece of cake right here. I feel like I'm in a pinky mood. What you also can do, you can actually take this one right here. I feel like this one has more of an ultra shade. So I'm just gonna go and apply it on top of that. I'm applying my lips with the Lancome lip pencil right here. This one is nude. By the way, it's been one of my favorites for so long. I love it. It's beautiful. And it stays really long on the lips. The 321 Beating Jewels of Lancome. And on top of that, I am going to use the Lancome Lip Gloss right here. This one is shade 222. Blue Gloss Shoe. Ooh, I'm swear. So to set all my makeup, I'm actually gonna use the setting spray Moron. Um, so this one is actually a setting spray for first pain, but I feel like it feels like it's all in the makeup even better and even longer. So that is a really good one. I'm just gonna go and spray it all over. Alright guys, so that is my makeup look and that was my review of the Nessa Myricks makeup products and I have to say that I am really impressed from the Vision Queen and I really love the idea that I can actually use it as a foundation, as concealer and as a contour. I feel like the Vision Queen did really well today. Guys, thank you so so much for watching me. Just before you go, make sure to subscribe my channel, thumbs up and ring on the button so you make sure not to miss any of my content. Thank you so, so much for watching me and I will see you next video. Bye bye!